Hey everybody, it's Meg from Simplified and today we are going to be learning how to use Simplified's new video editor to be able to create amazing, stunning videos for your brand and company. So what you'll do is start on your dashboard and you're gonna click this little video icon here and that will bring you to all of our different preset dimensions and as well as our um, video templates. So today let's go ahead and start with some of these Instagram post videos and let's choose this one. Now what we do first when we get, um, when we open up a template is click this big yellow play button so that you can see what you're working with. All right, and that is pretty great to start with. So let's go ahead and come down to our timeline editor and we'll just select the slide that we wanna start customizing first. So for this one, I actually wanna resize it to be able to create a video for YouTube. So we'll come up here to our magic resize button. And then this is gonna give us all kinds of preset dimensions for the different platforms. So today we're creating for YouTube. So we'll go ahead and select YouTube thumbnail. Now to be able to zoom in and out on your artboard, you can either use two fingers on your mouse pad. Um, we can use the zoom in and out keys here in the lower right hand corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit and then I'll select all the elements on the artboard and use these guide points to be able to adjust it down to fit onto our new dimensions. Now let's go ahead and move some of these elements around so that they fit better on our new size. So I'll move these over here and then we'll move these over here. All right, now if we zoom in, you'll see that there's a little design here in the background. You can right click this and you can move it um, different places on the artboard. So if you wanna bring it to the front or send it to the back, you can do that. But let's go ahead and set this as the background. And it automatically resizes to be able to fit into our new dimensions. Now, if you wanna duplicate or clone an element, like let's say that we want two of her, you can come right up here and click the clone image button or command D. And then there's two of that. Also, if you want to select a bunch of different elements, see how these are all individuals. I don't want to mess up the spacing. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and adjust this word from fitness to adventure. That's what I'm creating for today. And then I'll just copy and paste this. Now I don't want to mess up the spacing here. So again, I'm going to select all of these and let's go ahead and group them together by clicking this group elements tool or command G. And now I can move it and it stays perfectly spaced wherever I need it on the artboard. So I've got adventure. Do you see how um, this girl is behind the words? If I want her to be in front of them, Again, I can right click and then I can just click bring to front and now she's in front of them. So you can order the layers on your element on your artboard for your elements by just right clicking them. Now let's go ahead and customize some of these elements to fit with our branding. So what you'll do first, let's say that I want to change this color is come up here to the color palette. And then we'll click the color and I can either choose to create a custom color or I can choose from my brand kit. So all of the brand kits from your workspace are available with this drop down menu. So let's say that we're creating for our Africa brand kit today, and we can go ahead and update some of these elements to fit with our colors and our brand colors. That looks great. Now it's time to edit the text. So you can customize your text by clicking the text button in your left hand toolbar. Here you can add more text. You can add your different fonts. So these are all fonts that I've uploaded. And it drops right into the middle of the artboard. And you can change the color of the text here to be able to fit with your branding. Now let's go ahead and change this image to better fit our message. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one and close out this toolbar here. 
And then you can add images or videos to your videos using our media button in the left-hand toolbar. So today we're gonna search for hiking and you can find different sources and browse different sources right here in our drop-down menu. So we can look for hiking on Pixabay or Pexels, Unsplash, or you can even connect it to your own Google Drive in case you wanna upload your personal photos. We'll go with this one. All you need to do is click it and it'll drop right into your artboard. Now let's say that I want a similar style as the template. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the background by clicking this remove background tool. And in just one click, the entire background is gonna just disappear. That's awesome. And now I want him to actually face the other way. So if you click this layers tool, you can flip your images or elements horizontally or even vertically. And then you can also align them. So let's put him along the bottom. We could put him on the right or the bottom left and it'll automatically align your image for you. So we're gonna put him right about here and then we'll spice it up by adding a drop shadow just like our template had. So you can add adjustments to your images by clicking this these three dots for more. And then we'll click the drop down for drop shadow and we can adjust the color again using our brand kit. And then I can change the distance and the blur. And now we're ready to animate it to make our video stand out. So we'll come down here to expand our timeline editor. And here's where you'll be able to adjust the duration of your clip just by clicking and dragging the side of the clip. And then you can add animations as well by clicking this little animate button in the lower left-hand corner of your clip, corner of your clip. Now here you'll be able to try out different animations. To see which one you like the best. I think I'm liking this one the best. You can also add transitions between your slides here. And let's put apply to all so we don't have to remember that next time. And we'll close out of our toolbar and that slide is good to go. Now it's time to move on to our next slide. So we'll just go ahead and select it and then we'll resize it and begin customizing. So again, we'll zoom out, select everything, make it a little bit smaller, see how it can fit better on the artboard, update this to our branding colors, and then just expand it a little bit fit better. All right, now let's go ahead and make this really this slide really stand out by adding a video. So again, we'll click our media button in the left hand toolbar. And then we're actually going to search this time for a video. Once again, if you click this drop down menu, there's different video sources for you to browse. But let's look for hiking. And we'll find a video that we like. Once you find a video that you think looks interesting, you can just click it and it'll drop right into your artboard. And then you select it and click this play button to be able to preview it. That looks great. We'll go ahead and expand that and then we're going to right click it and send it to the back. And then we can go ahead and preview that by opening up our timeline editor and clicking play. All right, now this template already came with some preset music. If I wanted to change that music, I can come down to my timeline editor and double click right here 
Now, if I want to change the audio on my video, I can just double click this and then I can either drag to be able to select different parts of the songs that will play. So if I wanted a little more high energy here, or I can go ahead and delete it all together and then it'll say add music. So you can double click this add music and it'll bring you directly to our audio library where you can choose music based on mood or genre or instrument and even add sound effects. So today I'm gonna to go by mood and we'll go with inspiring. Now I can preview it by clicking these little play buttons and you can just drag and drop it onto your artboard and it will drop right into your video. Now this, let's say that this video is not long enough and I want to add some more information. What I can do is I can either add a new slide by clicking this plus sign where I'll start um, designing from scratch. You can also delete artboards by clicking those three little dots in the upper right hand corner. Or I can go to this slide and I'll just go ahead and duplicate it. Oops, not delete duplicate that. Now I have some continuity to my video and I can go back and forth alternating between the different templates. Um, and then I can just, I'm ready to customize this one. And then again, let's add a video to the background of this one. I just deleted the whole slide, so I'm gonna come up here and click undo, and then it'll come back again. Another video into the background. We'll put hiker this time. And let's preview it by clicking this play button. You can also trim the part of the video by clicking this little scissor button, and then you can select the part of the video that you want to play. So this is a 15 second video clip, but I only want it to play for five seconds, and I can select which part of the clip I want to play, and then click trim. And again, we're gonna put this in the back. All right, now let's go ahead and preview it by clicking play. And that looks like an adventure. You could continue doing that, duplicating slides so that they alternate back and forth. And then you can also, if you want this to go a little bit longer, or if you wanna share more information, you can do that as well. Now we do have thousands of stock images and videos available for you to create your own custom creations. Or if you wanna drop in your very own videos, you can go to My Assets and you can upload your assets here and then they'll drop right into your artboard. All right, and then let's go ahead and add a little logo or a visual here. So I'm gonna click visuals, which is where you'll find all of our different icons. I'm gonna look for an adventure visual. This looks great. Go ahead and drop that in. Put it in my brand color. And then let's say that this is my brand font. I can actually change the rotation of it to be completely horizontal. When you select a different element or a text on your artboard, if you click this very top guide point and hold it down and drag it, then you can rotate things to be on an angle. So let's make that a little bit smaller. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and preview the whole thing by opening up our timeline editor, and then we'll click the big yellow play button once again.
right, now our transitions are gonna be applied. Let's see, that music is not it. So let's go ahead and adjust the music and we can double click it. And then let's just adjust the part of the song that we want to play. All right, now if I'm ready to export it, I can just come right up here to export and I'll hit this drop down and click video. And then I'm ready to export. I can just click export now. And there you have it guys, a quick how-to mini webinar on how to build a video with Simplified. If you have any questions, please leave them in our Facebook community. Um, and otherwise, go try it out at simplified.co. Thanks for joining us.